Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today, what we've got planned for you is a pretty cool trip. We're headed out in the truck. Dad's never been here before, so we want to kind of show him around, and we'd take you guys along with us to show you also. But we're headed to a town called McCarthy. It's 60 miles out of Chitna. You can see we got the RV set up in the dip net spots. We got guys driving by on four wheelers right there. Everybody's dip netting. Fishing's good from what I heard yesterday. But instead of fishing, we are headed to McCarthy. And McCarthy is a town that sits on the edge of Wrangell St. Elias National Park. It's kind of a park that maybe not a lot of people have heard of. But this town is pretty unique and you're gonna see why. For people who don't really know, I'm scared of heights. And as you can see, I'm walking on this bridge that is no joke. It's very narrow <laughs> and I don't feel very good about it. Ay, 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 ay. is a ways down. Gives me a nervous feeling in my stomach. I'm gonna go to the edge, but I don't like it. Oh gosh, it's making me feel sick. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, enough of that. I'll just put the camera over the edge and show you guys. Uh, it makes me nervous to even put the camera over it. Yeah. It's a long ways down. As railway to riches. From 1911 to 1938, the Copper River and Northwestern Railway was the lifeline for the Kennecott Mines. Nicknamed the Can't Run and Never Will by its skeptics, the CR and NW overcame incredible challenges in the construction and operation. Here, babe. What do you think? Well, back to McCarthy back for the. To McCarthy. It'll be fun to go across the bridge and see the, see the town again. First time in 15 years that we've been here. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, we made it to McCarthy. Check out the river here. Look at that. Awesome.
It's still pop. Oh yeah, it feels nice. amazing. That fresh air coming off the river feels so good. I don't know if you can see that. But back in that base of that mountain over there is where we're headed to, up to the Kennecott Mine. Should be a pretty good time. We're gonna take a shuttle this time. Last time we biked up there, but we did not bring bikes. <laughs> so guys, here's a section of that railroad coming into Kennecott and this is actually the same exact railroad that we have that's down where we dip net fish miles and miles over 60 miles away and it, it's the old railroad used to pit, bring the ore from the Kennecott mine all the way down to Cordova in the Gulf of Alaska so this is actually the same railroad just a different piece of it Now there you go, community drinking water, here it is. The local stream is the community drinking water. It's a sensitive area, but look at how clear it is. Super clear, but I don't know if I'd want to drink it. Better filter it. One time this was a community garden. Oops. All right, here we are in the town of McCarthy. You can see behind me, it's a beautiful day. I've lost Ryan and his dad somewhere here. They ran into the guy who takes care of the generator for the whole town, so they'll probably be gabbing him for like an hour. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, it's quite beautiful here. It's a lovely day. Pretty soon we're gonna go up to the mountain back here behind me, check out the mine. But I think first we're gonna have lunch over here at the Potato. So what a beautiful place. If they got a thing that says wood-fired pizza back there. Potato and the roadside potato. The roadside potato with hand cut fries. Ooh, hand cut fries. I love French fries. Oh man, the back of your head is red, babe. Mine? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm probably getting burned. What happens when a white boy gets in the sun? <laughs> Alice Chalmers.
old washing machine. Holy cow. Check out that cable that car is on. Yeah. Wow, they don't make stuff like that. Track cable, that's amazing. Look at this fuel oil container. Oh, is that what that is? Fuel oil? It had to be. Huh. So we're just waiting here for our tram ride. We used to bike up to the mine, but how far is it up there anyway? Four and a half miles. Four and a half miles, so. Four and a half miles uphill. <laughs> yeah, it's all uphill. <laughs> Anyways, last time we were here back in the day. They didn't have shuttle last time. No, they didn't have a shuttle. So you biked up and that was either- Or walk. Or, well, or walk, but yeah. you well, pedaled, pushed your bike up because the downhill ride was always the exciting part. Right. <laughs> we never had to pedal once coming downhill. You just <laughs> like a bat just out of hell. Go for it. You yep. Just go for it. Put your feet up. And woo! Anyway, so I am wearing our Wildwood. Wildwood. Off, Wildwood. Grid Alaska. Off Grid Alaska, if you can see it. I told you guys I'd put a link. So our shirts, we have shirts, we have coffee cups, we got uh sweatshirts, different merch available on our merch store. We go through uh bonfire.com. I will leave a link in the description of this video. If you guys want to do something simple to support our channel. Go buy our, uh, go buy some merch for us. We obviously make a little bit of profit off that. It helps support the channel and helps us buy camera equipment and keep doing stuff like we're doing here. So anyways. All right, we're gonna cool. see you at the top. Yeah, we're gonna head up to the mine here soon. As soon as we get our, our shuttle, the lazy man's way up, we gotta yeah, pay our $5. It's gonna be about five minutes. Head up to the mine and we'll, uh, we'll show you guys the mine. All right, well, you can see behind us here, we made it to the Kennecott Mine. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. We're going to do a little exploring. We'll take you guys along. Yeah, it'll be fun. The Kennecott Mine is an old, uh, I don't even know what to say about it. It's, uh, it's the end uh, for the copper. It's, where, it's the finishing place where the copper mine was. All the mines are way up on this mountain back over here. And I think there's a total of six different mines that they mined and brought the ore here to have, have it finished. Yeah. So let's go take a look. Yeah, let's check it out. This is the old uh, root. I think this is the where the root glacier and the Kennecott glacier come together, right? I'm pretty sure. Because there's two glaciers that meet up. If you guys can see. That is all glacier ice out there. It looks like gravelly hills, but it is frozen. And it goes forever. All the way up into the hills. If you guys ever get a chance to come to Alaska, you've got to come to McCarthy and check out the Kennecott Mine. It is, it's definitely a cool place. It's something unlike anything you'll probably ever see but it's been preserved quite well by this, the National Park Service. I think it's the National Park Service. Isn't that who preserved this? I'm not sure. So I'm pretty sure it's the Park Service because we're, we're uh, in Wrangell St. Elias National Park. The old school. Yeah, this is the old school. You can see the old, where they would put the bell in to call the kids. Neat, huh? Pretty neat. That's really like put I said. The bell. I'll tell you one thing. I would be nervous having the school right here and the kids going out to play and a giant drop off. <laughs> Drops right down to a glacier. <laughs> I mean, I think I'd have like a fenced off area or something. Is the refrigeration and this big building we just passed? This is an old bunkhouse for the workers. See these old windows. This building right here is the general store. And what we're coming out here, the general store, where the movie is. Theater, historic post office. Oh, historic post office. Look at the old glass windows, and you can see in there some kind of wheel. 
refrigerator thing. Oh, I always think the glass looks so cool, that old glass. It has the imperfections and the pits in it. That is the main 14-story building where the ore was processed. Pretty amazing. And right here, we have the general store. I think, I think Vaughn and my dad are in the general store right now, taking a look around. So, all right, we're gonna check out this old general store. Looks pretty cool. Come on in. That is the main. Okay. <laughs> look at this. Is this cool or what? I can imagine a time when people were in here buying their goods, waiting for the next shipments of things to come in. It's pretty cool. This is candy order from September 16th, 1919. They had butterscotch, chocolate chips, peanut brittle, molasses chews, wine balls, Whorehound drops, I don't know what those are. Jelly beans, peppermint lozenges, uh, cinnamon stick candy, looks like California fruit chew gum, spearmint chewing gum, they still make that. Adam's chewing gum, Burzman's, it looks like chewing gum, Mayberry's chewing gum, Wrigley's juicy fruit, that's still, still around, and Yakutan chewing gum. Interesting. To say, sitting in this room, I feel like I've walked into a movie set, but everything has just been, you know, left as it is. And it's so crazy to think of, you know, people shopping in here and trying on shoes, getting their work boots, things like that. It's just amazing that there used to be such a life in here, and now it's just so quiet and peaceful and. I mean, the wood, wood floors are amazing. All the details are amazing. And uh, it's just interesting to sit here and think about the olden times. I can't even, I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh, there's that building back there. Wow, that's collapsed back there. It must have had snowfall. Yeah. Crush it. What an amazing place, guys. I cannot, I can't explain enough. If you ever come to Alaska, you have got to come to the Kennecat Mine and McCarthy. Behind me is one of the old buildings running along this creek here. And uh, just everything here is so amazing. This is, I don't know, I'd almost say it's a, it's a tourist kind of dream. Taking a step back in time to see how things were done and just feel that old pioneer spirit. It's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal feeling. Something you just have to experience. This is cool. Wow. They had to put that on there. It's falling down. Oh, just think of all the work that they did in here. Danger, keep out. Goodness gracious. Oh yeah. Look at that. See those shoots? These are the shoots they have 
where they put the, the slide it down into the train. Oh, these are a little rickety. Yeah, look at those things. Oh, how interesting. Isn't that crazy? Think of all the men that used to work and bustle around in here. Spoons up on the top and then you paddle it off. Dry it up. Put it in a bag. Throw it on the train. Now, I say it like it's that simple. However, last year I did have a woman who was getting her PhD in flotation. Oh, this is the process that we use. Oh, I love you. Yeah. And that leads to me to believe that it is not that simple. So when you say this, what's that? So if you guys were to come to McCarthy, come up and to the Kennecott Mine, you can see behind me some folks, they're getting a tour. You can pay, I think it's 20 or $25 per person, and you can get a tour to go into the main building here. This main building is 14 stories tall, kind of coming, it's different sections, in, I think it's in four different sections coming down the mountain. And uh, it's where they processed all the ore into the fines and finally into the copper where they put it into the train. And then to the, from the train, they went a, almost 200 miles down to Cordova to the Gulf of Alaska and then moved it down to Washington. All in the name of copper. I guess the next time you see your copper water pipes, you can know what it went through. Or at least. Pretty amazing. What do we got here? This is the floater um, where they extract the, the final little bits out. Okay. You can see the big floater tanks in there. But here's a diagram that shows it. I mean, you can see them still in there, but it's got these big, huge tanks that they float floated out of. Ammonia leaching flow diagram. Okay, so the, here, the tanks are in here. Check this out. Check this out, though. Everybody is the new fad, the barn doors. This is old school, man. This has been around forever. Look how beautiful that. Isn't that cool? But yeah, you can see those big tanks back there. Oh yeah. There's all the tanks back in there. And look at all the cogs and the wheels up there. That They're huge that they needed to process that. And the belts. It's crazy. I mean, there is so much. So detailed. It's pretty amazing. Woo. There's a whole bunch of bags sitting over there with the. Um, I saw that with old ore. Copper, in it. yeah, copper still on it. Because they just didn't. It just wasn't worth them yeah. doing. So when the mine shut down, they just bailed. They just left. All it. right, we're out of here. I mean, all the bags and everything are still sitting over there. And you look Pretty. like you're in the old west out there. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's pretty incredible looking at that old powerhouse. This is just amazing. This looks like a lumber and a steel store behind me. And you can see, look at those old steel pipes in there. They must have had them sorted back in the day. They still have some beams in there too. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. Renovation stuff. This Holy cow, look at the power crazy. plant. Three, four. Big old generation Goodness. facility. Yeah. Steam. Stand yeah. over there and put it in perspective. And I'm there. Look how huge those are. Goodness gracious. I mean, those are the size of a house. Well, anymore now with them tiny houses, yeah. <laughs> That's three tiny houses yeah. or four. I was gonna say, two or three families can live in one of those. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Wild. Wow, look at that. That's really detailed. 
there were 20 families that lived here and the rest of them were just workers, just single workers. So this is one of the family homes. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a bathroom. You can see this is a bathroom because it has the toilet hole. The rooms are not huge. They actually had toilets? They actually had toilets back in I don't know. They probably had the water flusher up at the top. I guess it was just Wow, we're up high now, people. <laughs> yep, indeed, we came up high. It is freaky. This whole upper section was what they say, this is where they crush it. The crusher was all up here. Yeah. Put it on this. Put it on this. Wow. The sheer amount of stuff just falling off this is crazy. Oy, 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 look at all of that broken. That looks a little sketchy. You know what else looks sketchy? Look at that. Yikes. I don't know if you can see behind me, but that is scary. Going down. Obviously, you can tell Vaughn's scared of heights, so we gotta be very careful. Yes. Very what, careful. What, what's it look like? Scary. I'm getting off. No, no, no. Come, babe, let's at least come over here and look together. I'm done. Don't do that. This stuff's funny. <laughs> I wonder what the, look at this. Must have been where the men would come and say, give me my paycheck. Yep. <laughs> That's nope, where the done. boss was at. You're fired. <laughs> fired, fired. Office. Oh yeah, they probably, this is a sliding window. They would uh, probably open and the secretary or whatever would sit back here. This is where the boss man sat. Here's where Harry Potter lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Covered under the staircase. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, look at this. Safe. Where they kept all the money. Big safe, that's cool. Built right in. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. This is so, so cool. Oh dear. It's cement walls and it's freaky in there. Makes me feel like I'm gonna get locked in there. <laughs> what you doing, boss? I'm just debating whether I want to pay the people today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're feeling generous. All right, well, thanks for joining us on our journey here in McCarthy and Kennecott. We've had a great day and lots of fun. Yeah, it was a pretty good adventure to be able to bring my dad back to a place we haven't seen in 15, 15 years. 15 years it's been since we've been back here. It's, so. it's every bit as exciting as it was. It's a great little town to come visit. There's awesome food. I think tonight we went we... to the potato again for uh, wood fired pizza for dinner. It was amazing, delicious. They do alder smoked, highly recommended. Alder wood fired pizza. Yeah, highly recommended. And it is. It's really good. So, anyways, we hope you enjoy the video. If you do like it, give us a thumbs up. If you uh, if you would please share our videos and please, if you want to support the channel, don't forget to buy our merch. It is, uh, there's a link in the description of the video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys.
The life of a dog in the big city of McCarthy. Doesn't move for nothing. What's up, Pooch? What do you feel like? I felt like you guys were walking like you're wading through molasses. Molasses, really? Yes. Huh. Interesting. Have you every ever waded through molasses? Literally every time we'd walk two feet and you guys would stop and talk about something. So. <laughs>